house. It's basically this amazing place uh, where we house families who are receiving medical treatment um, in London or say it were in a different city, so say Toronto, it'd be families who are receiving medical treatment in Toronto um, and they're far away from home basically, it's giving them a place to stay at a much lower rate than I guess having to stay at a hotel or, or bunking with a friend is allowing them to have a home away from home. The girl that I connected with um, when I was working with their family on a little bit of marketing, but I learned all about her story and about how she had been rushed here when she was less than two with a, a tumor larger than her right lung and um, put into a coma and her family was, um, you know, just distraught, didn't know what was happening and uh, eventually they came to St. Ronald McDonald House and, um, and spending all their time at the hospital, being here and then when she started to get a little better and able to not be inside the hospital all the time, they came here as a family and stayed together. And she earned the nickname of Noodles, and so she still goes by that. And that was because the uh, treatment that she was on required her, like she didn't like a lot of foods. The only thing she would eat was noodles all the time. So everyone here started calling her Noodles. And then, um, and now she's doing phenomenally well. She's, uh, she would come back for treatments, and now she doesn't need to come back anymore. She's cancer free and doing wonderfully. Lots of ways to get involved with the house. Uh, we have a dinner program where a group will come in and prepare a meal for everybody in the house, so 60 people. Uh, we also have baking groups who come in and they bake goodies for the families. Um, often they're on a rush over to the hospital, so having a muffin or a cookie in their hand is a great way for them to get some nutrition. Um, we also have just in-house volunteering. You can volunteer and help make up rooms, help host movie nights. We also have the family room in the hospital where you can volunteer your time there as well. So there's lots of ways to get involved. Um, the house is funded, I believe 20% comes from McDonald's sources, so um, we have coin boxes, um, make happy day and things like that. Other than that, it's all fundraising from the house. So we have um, multiple events like our golf, curling classic, uh, we have a big bowl of fun and things like that. Basically the Ronald McDonald House provides opportunities for students to get out into the community and give back. A lot of the time students don't necessarily have, are not in a situation where they can donate money, but students are always able to donate time. So there's a number of ways that science students can get involved, and it's not just science students, it can also be any students from Western. Um, they can organize a group of friends and come down to the house to either prepare brunch or dinner for the families. They can come down on an evening or afternoon to just kind of bake some big goods for the families. They can also help out by kind of supporting the events that Science Students Council runs to fundraise for the house as well.